regular modeling environment, we have fillets and we have chamfers. And with the sheet metal environment, what we have is we have um, we have corner rounds and corner chamfers. Now, when I click this, notice that it allows me to pick the corner or the feature. So it's not as robust as the fill command, but that's by design. So right now I've just got a radius of 0.25. What's great about the corner round and corner chamfer features, notice how it only picks the actual corners. It doesn't go to try to pick edges, you know, the long edges or anything like that. It's, it's smart enough to recognize just the, the actual corners. So notice how I can pick those two edges quickly without having to zoom in there. We'll change the radius here to 0.5. We'll click OK and supply that feature. Now the corner chamfer feature works exactly the same. So I can quickly come in here and pick these, these corners here, again, without any zooming or anything like that. I pick those edges. In this case, we'll just stick with the quarter inch, we'll click OK, and it's applied those features. So a great feature to, to quickly you know, apply those rounds and those chamfers. Now when it comes time to do cuts, what I can do is actually re um, relate to the flat pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a rectangle here and I'm gonna go and create a cut feature. Now, I could just leave it like this, so you can see how it's cutting the thickness. I can specify the direction I want that to cut. Um, I'm gonna click OK, and you can see that it's simply just done an extrusion and cut that out. However, what I can do is I can change this to cut across the bend. So the idea is that it's actually gonna take that, take the bend into consideration, and roll that out. So if I was to go back and modify that cut, so if I was to come in here and say, well, this cut needs to be you know, one inch long, and let's actually pull this down here a bit, and I want this to be located away from the outside edge, you know, the, the 0.75, and I click update, what it's done is gone through and updated that feature. Now, what's key here is it's rolled it around the, the, the bend, but taken the, the, the um, in this case, K factor into consideration so that when I flatten that out, I will get that same one inch cut into the plate. So it's taking that into consideration as it, as it does it. Now, the other option there is a fairly new feature um, within um, the sheet metal environment. It's the cut normal option. Now, this has more to do um, when you kind of listen on a round feature, so if I was cutting through this, is that it would actually cut normal to it. So your cut would actually come out normal to the plate instead of necessarily, you know, the direction or the angle was going through here. So you would actually get a more true, let's say, laser cut um, or plasma cut cut out as opposed to, you know, the, the extrusion direction. So I'm just going to leave this as, as the cut across the bend. Now maybe what I'm after here is I'm after kind of a more complex type cut. Well, it's not more complex, but I want to relate to more of these features. So I'm going to create my, my sketch here, and I really would like to, to use some of these features. Well, from my drop-down here, my project geometry drop-down, there's actually a project flat pattern. So I can come in here and say, well, I'd really like to project that edge, I'd really like to project that edge, and I, or face, sorry, and I'd like to project that face. So now it's how it's projected those into the sketch environment for me, and they're associative. So as my flat pattern changes, um, you know, as my model changes, so does that change. So let's just do a slice graphics here so we can see it. And I'm going to create my cut. So I'm going to create my geometry like this. I'd really want to, uh, you know, make it to that outside edge because we want it to be a quarter inch from that outside edge. Um, I'd really like it to be, you know, when I go to create this, I'd really like it to be, um, you know, 0.5 from that edge. We'll create a, a an overall thickness on this. So let's say 0.5. And again, now, now that I've created that geometry and, and related it to the flat pattern, when I use the cut across bends options, the same thing is going to happen where it's going to, it's going to, it's going to honor those bend radiuses and it's going to honor my, my current flat, um, unflattening or my flattening rules here. So I'll click OK and you can see it's rolled that across there. So there you have it. Um, corner rounds, corner chamfers and the cut tools and, and the, the, the sheet metal specific features that they have. Thank you.